Welcome to Lecture Online, and here we added a few more notations on the right side of the board because what we're doing now is we're converting the expression from exponential form into radical form. And when we do that, realize that whenever we have an exponent that has a 1 in the numerator and something else in the denominator, we can simply write it like this. x to the 1 half power is simply the square root of x, x to the 1 third power is simply the cube root of x, and x to the 1 fourth power is simply the fourth root of x. We don't have to write x to the one first power inside the radical. So now we have an, a problem that looks like this. First of all, we realize we see a one half right here, which means that we we'll probably need to take the square root somewhere, a radical square root. We have a negative sign, we'll deal with that in a moment, but also realize that this exponent only applies to what's inside the parentheses, not to the number three. And from the previous set of videos, we realized that whenever we have a negative exponent, we can turn that into a positive exponent by moving this to the denominator. So we're going to rewrite this first as follows. This can now be written as 3 divided by the quantity x plus 2y to the positive 1 half power. Now we're going to employ this rule right here. Anything raised to the 1 half power is simply the square root of that using a radical symbol. So this can now be written as 3 divided by the square root of x plus 2y. And that would then be the final form in terms of radical notation from the original form, which was in exponential notation. And that's how it's done.